Cancer, welcome to your reading. I hope this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. Hope you're doing something that you love today, tonight, this afternoon, whenever the message does find you. Thank you for all of the support to my channel. Truly means the world to me. If you would like a private reading or you want to follow me on social media, the link will be in the description box below or my about tab. Let's see what spirit has for you today. We're going to start off with some angel numbers and then we'll go from there. We have angel number 686. The lesson that you are learning at this time isn't a setback, but an opportunity for you to clear your path. It's important to do everything within your power to resolve the current situation, though, before proceeding further. Oh, okay. It's important to do everything within your power to resolve the current situation, though, before proceeding forward. We also have angel number 160. God is, the, God is as loud as your willingness is to listen do everything you can to listen deeply so if you're trying to find answers to what you perceive to be problems in your life if you're looking for solutions the sitting in that stillness or that silence with yourself with the universe is going to bring you the answers that you seek think i mean sometimes in order to take action we need to kind of have that resting state in order to know what action to take you know so that we have that clear decisive path ahead of us but use god fluidly on this channel right whatever you believe in um seven angel number 708 you are the keeper of your body and your life angel wisdom is reminding you not to fall victim to circumstances and to align your thoughts intentions and actions with energy that's going to support you going forward so don't you know don't get in your own way Right. If you want something, if you have a passion, if you have a goal, if you have a vision for your life, do things that are going to facilitate the growth of that. Right. Do things that are going to help you expand and um, have those breakthroughs. You know, don't overthink the path ahead, because sometimes when we overthink. Right. I think that's why that silence is important as well. It's like sometimes you don't even need to think. Sometimes you just need to be. And that's when those answers you're looking for will find you. We have the two of pentacles juggling. Could be a decision that you're trying to, could have two choices, you know, trying to decide on what path to take or what action to take moving forward, feeling a bit, mm, feeling like things could be aligned more, right? Feeling like things are not complete yet. There is a better way moving forward, but there's definitely a need to make a decision here. Finding your balance in regards to whatever it may be in your life. This could be a work situation. What do you have for cancer? The five of cups in the reverse. Sadness. This is good. Very, very good. We also have the sun in the center. Yeah. Okay. I feel like things are starting to look, you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know, or you're starting to kind of get this clarity or see this path ahead for yourself. Feeling very vibrant, very happy. Wishes being granted, wishes being fulfilled. Pulling yourself out of this energy of sadness. Now we have the Ten of Cups. What? <laughs> what? It says Angel of Happiness. Ten of Cups says Home. One more. Damn. These came out together. Then we have the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords, which says drama and endings. So I feel like this is the end of drama, potentially in a uh, you know a home situation. Emperor on the bottom, Eight of Pentacles. Dedication and Angel of Wisdom. I feel like you're committed to creating a more happy or more peaceful version of your life. You could have been dealing with drama or a dramatic situation for, for some time, right? It doesn't have to be in the home, but it does just speak to people around you or you dealing with somebody that was causing a lot of stress in your life. And I feel like this energy, this two of pentacles is you kind of figuring out what path or what action to take moving forward. I feel like you've done this and I think that's why you're in this energy of happiness. The ten of swords, there is an ending here, right? The end of this drama or the end of you being, having to deal with that stressful situation, pulling yourself out of it but it does come with you having to take this action, you having to make that choice, right? You have to kind of take a more hands-on approach. And with the emperor here in the eight of pentacles, I feel like you were very careful with how you handled this situation, very diligent, right? But I feel like you also just, you created your boundaries and I feel like you're not letting anybody cross those boundaries anymore, right? You're kind of living 
I'm not going to say you're living a drama free life because we always have problems, but I feel like whatever this specific situation was potentially with a family member or a lover, I feel like that the boundaries are clear. And I think the end of them disrespecting you or you kind of being in the energy of sadness because of them, I think that's what's over. I think there's a lot of joyfulness, a lot of happiness, a lot of clarity on who you are and what you stand for. And I think you know exactly, like you know what you deserve, you know what you're not gonna put up with anymore. And I think these boundaries are really important or you know, they're creating more peace and stability in your life. What do we have for cancer? On the split with the Hierophant, we also have the Ten of Cups. Happy with your decision. I feel like you've evolved in some way, shape, or form in regards to how you see yourself or the world around you. But your perspective has been enlightened. You're very close to spirit or you're very protected, very watched over. We have the Ace of Wands. This is a breakthrough. Yeah, see, I feel like for a while you were juggling this decision, this back and forth, two of pentacles decision on like, what do I do? Being very persistent in your efforts, like, you could have been giving a lot of energy to trying to figure this out, but I think the path that you had to do, you, I think, we also have the Ace of Cups. I think in order to truly get what you wanted, which just seems like you wanted peace or you wanted to end this drama, it's like you kind of, you had to take a different perspective or a different approach, and this led to a major breakthrough. And I feel like new beginnings in regards to something that you're passionate about is here, and I feel like, it wasn't really, it's not that it, it's not that they were preventing it from happening. I just think you dealing with them prevented you from being able to walk the path that you wanted to walk in the ways that you were desiring to. You needed to remove their energy so that you could actually embrace this new beginning for everything you knew it could be, right? So that you can give it that time, energy, and attention. We have the Ten of Swords. We also have Death. Death came out. We also have the Ten of Swords, but... This is just the end of a situation. This is great change. I feel like the narrative of your life is shifting. I feel like for a while you could have been stressed out or just dealing with stressful situations. We have the King of Swords in the center. And now there's just this clarity, right? You're healing a heartbreak. You're no longer in this energy of being heartbroken. You have clarity on how to move forward, but you're also, you're not, again, you're not letting anybody cross these boundaries. This Knight of Swords could be done with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This Knight of Swords might try to cause that drama in your life, potentially, but it just looks like you know where you stand and you see every, you see the truth for the truth now. And I feel like you're just, you're in a different place than you used to be. We also have the Empress attracting this happiness, attracting this abundance. Maybe you're doing things a bit more low-key these days or more discreetly for yourself, detached from the bondage or the chains that you used to kind of be in with somebody, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a... I don't know. Maybe the changes that you're making are actually something that you're keeping quiet, you know? Maybe it's just something that is not for everybody to know or for the world to see, but it looks like you're very balanced, in this new beginning, but you're just attracting a lot. You could have people watching you, people uh, people that kind of you used to have a lot of conflict with, right? Maybe people that were causing this drama or making you feel like you needed to compete for a place in their life. It's like, that's all over now. You know who you are. You're standing in your power, right? doesn't have to be masculine or feminine. You're just embracing this new beginning because you know what you deserve and you know how to go after it. You know, you're coming from a very balanced space Space and place in your heart connected to your heart chakra and I feel like you're just running with the wind on this one you know I feel like you're just you're feeling free you're feeling like you've made up your mind right you're not stuck in between like what do I do you're just embracing the happiness that's in front of you even if it is without some of these older people or older energies now you're surrounded by people that know how to reciprocate the energy that you give them clarify the ace of wands the Ten of Wands reverse, okay. Clarify the Death card. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away from the burdens. You're walking away from the stress. This is what's changing. The breakthrough is here. It's presenting itself because you finally let go or walked away or moved on. We also have the Star, like I said, and the Six of Swords. We have the Star and the Emperor, or the Star and the Six of Swords. 
This is spiritually evolving, you know? This is moving on to calmer waters. This is wish fulfillment. This is healing. I think we were speaking on wish fulfillment a little bit earlier in the reading. And then this last two cards, we have judgment and the page of pentacles. I feel like this is a new environment. This is a new feel. Sun on the bottom of the deck. We also have the ace of cups. A lot of emotional fulfillment here. A lot of enlightenment, a lot of joy, a lot of clarity, a lot of peace. Peace within your own heart, but also there could be new love here for some of you out there. I see you in a very healing energy, a very, you're attracting what you desire. So be careful about what you're thinking about right now, right? Because your thoughts will become your reality with the Empress and the King of Swords. The Empress is a great manifester or just attracts exactly what they want. With the King of Swords, it's like your thoughts are very, you have the clarity you need to manifest this happiness or this abundance that you truly desire. You're in the energy of the sun. We have the sun twice. We have the ten of cups and the ace of cups, like in the star. This is you getting exactly what you want, but there might be a learning curve in adjusting to this balanced state of being, right? You might have to, because because you're out of the chaos or because you're out of the drama or whatever you used to deal with, it's like this could be an adjustment period in that regard. You not having to carry or anyone else's stress or burdens, right? You only having to worry about your problems and whatever else you choose to worry about instead of having to worry about things that were just preventing you from this passionate new beginning, right? This breakthrough. You've had a major breakthrough. A lot has changed in regards to people that were in your life and you, you've walked away from things that just weren't serving you, you know? Healing is here. Healing is taking place and opportunities are being presented to you. I love to see it. Closing message for Cancer. Fear, worries, tense situations. We also have waiting for news, package, or a letter. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Yeah, we have the Sun and the Ten of Cups, and I feel like with this Knight of Swords, some of you could have been having problems, maybe with an Aries. A, this card says Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. What's up, Tree? Affairs with your family. Yeah, some of you guys are just having family problems, or you're just like out of that now, you know? Maybe somebody was being stubborn, or maybe a bit aggressive, causing this fear, and it's like you just had to pull yourself out of it. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Chair empty, someone's leaving your life. Now we have unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So trust your gut in regards to how you handle this or how you move forward. If you're still dealing with it. Problems to be resolved. Love it. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Obstacles to overcome. I'm going to be honest, Cancer. <laughs> You guys are not going through the easiest of times. There's a lot of happiness and joy and like fulfillment here, but there's a lot you have to walk away from or just kind of deal with and process and handle. And nobody else is going to do it for you, you know? But I think you know this, and I feel like you're feeling tied down or frustrated. Jeez. I'm like, I'm going to keep going until we start getting some, some beautiful energy. December. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, maybe Capricorn. Sorrow over a loss. Hopefully none of you guys lost anybody permanently. We have May. And okay, here we go. Let's end on this note. <laughs> you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Something important such as a new job or a raise. Right? So although you had to kind of go through all this, this journey of the ups and downs and the processing and dealing with whatever it is you're dealing with, you're coming out of that. You are on the right path, especially with judgment here at the end of your reading. You're on the right path. You have clarity. You can manifest what it is you want. You have peace now because you stopped carrying the stress. You stopped carrying the burdens of just what wasn't serving you. And now you could be getting new opportunities, like I said, maybe a new job, maybe a raise. Um, but just rest assured, Cancer, you are on the right path right now. So enjoy this happiness, this clarity, this peace while you have it because you're on the right path and there's still more journey to go, right? See you guys.